cephalo cephalopod uh, cephalopod 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 <laughs> Hello friends, it is good to be back. Things are getting weird. What a year this has been. I just want to sit here and I want to talk to you in my bare feet because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's been a challenge for all of us and a lot of us have had to slow down in a lot of capacities. I know I have. I haven't really slowed down per se, but in the traditional things that you're used to for me, I have slowed down a little bit. The year has sped up so fast, but we've been forced to slow down. A lot of people are not comfortable with that because in America, we want everything now. We want things to be on time. We want our plans to go like that. A lot of us can feel guilty for thinking that we're not doing enough, that we're not busy enough. This is a life. This isn't a race. It's really easy to lose sight of that. Let's talk about that, and let's talk about what's been going on since I've been gone. But first, I want to show you something. This. Yeah, I know you thought it was going to be a gun. You see so many guns on my channel. Just sit back and relax. This is something that I also love. I love paleontology and geology. And I love this. This is a cephalopod, an ancient cephalopod. Bear with me, this has a point. This used to have ancient tentacles, well, they weren't ancient tentacles, they were tentacles coming out of this area and the sutures was all these things that look like fallen leaves. For each individual little air chambers that this thing would fill with air so it could get around. This used to be a shell. Everything about that shell was replaced with precious stone formed over many, many, many years. Slowly, over time, this was turned into this beautiful, natural creation. So beautiful things can form over a very slow time period, but in America, we want everything fast. We want things so fast, we can't even keep up with our own pace. On to the next thing, what's the newest thing? What's the newest thing? So we have a throwaway culture, that includes our time, and we think, oh, busy, busy's good, I'm just gonna fill it up. We can't keep up with our own pace, and we fill up our own space. We have space in our lives, and we're like, hey, let me fill it with something, let me fill it with Netflix or Instagram or whatever sort of meaningless thing. We're not comfortable with that negative space. We don't want voids in our life. We're not comfortable a lot of times even with silence. We have to fill it with music or conversation, and we're certainly not comfortable slowing down. And that's okay, it's helped us achieve a lot. But back in time, people couldn't even accomplish a quarter of what we can accomplish now, and yet a lot of people still feel unaccomplished and unsuccessful, or they're chasing that dream. And there's nothing wrong with that, but there is something wrong with that if you're chasing, 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 meanwhile your foundation is crumbling. And so you're building, 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 building. Meanwhile, this thing's shaky. You gotta figure out your foundation. What is most important to you? Is it your family? Is it your friends? Is it, is it your work? Is it your, your passion? If you have a crumbling foundation, the rest of it is pointless to build upon. Sometimes slowing down and seeing the cracks in your foundation and taking the time instead of saying, ah, I'll guess that, taking the time, that painstaking effort to fill in those cracks and make that foundation strong is exactly what you need. And that's what I've been doing this whole year. Now, I have been working probably too hard behind the scenes, but I'm back, I'm gonna have more videos. There's been a lot of things past the you know what, because I don't wanna say it for the algorithms, they get kinda ticked about that, Ugh, censor this video or whatever. Freedom content, gun content, all that stuff is just, discriminated against basically. I'm just constantly getting censored. And so I thought, what can I do for us, for our community? I decided to go in and work on our foundation from scratch because there's not a lot of platforms I can use. I don't want to build on somebody else's field. They can be like, oh, hey, we like guns today, but tomorrow we don't like guns anymore. Ha <laughs> ha, isn't that great? You spent years and years on here, but now we decided that we don't like you. Talk about discrimination. 
I've created from scratch a website for us, a community hub, joyofshooting.org, go check that out. I've been creating a lot of things and it's been making me stronger, but it's been tough. The biggest obstacle I'm facing right now that's kind of slowed me personally down is my health. Um, I've been having a lot of health issues and the main one that's really, really frustrating are my eyes. Kind of need those, huh? Now I have done blindfold shots successfully, but I don't want to have to do that all the time, if you know what I mean. And it is kind of scary. I have a rare condition, especially in women. Apparently it's found a lot in high powered businessmen and rarely in women. so. I don't know. It's basically a bubble in my eye that causes a blind spot and it's exacerbated by stress and screens. So you can understand my struggle there. Almost healed and then flares up again and then almost healed again. So I'm really hoping and praying, please send some prayers for me that it completely heals because if it doesn't, there's a chance that I can have a permanent blind spot in my eye and it makes things go 3D for me. It's pretty trippy. That is something that I've been really dealing with. Amongst other things, just another obstacle in my path. I've gone through a lot of obstacles and a lot of crazy stuff. And while I've slowed down, I've also been working on a huge project that I'm very excited about. If you like what I do, if you wanna learn my secrets, stuff that has enabled me to win championships, been on Olympic shortlist, and more importantly, shoot everything from 22s to grenade launchers, then go check out the description and find out how you can do that because I'm excited to share this with you. Also, a special thanks to my patrons because you have had an insight, you're my insider crew, you've had an insight into a lot of the stuff that I've been doing and you've supported me and encouraged me through all of that. It really means so much and you know exactly who you are and so I am so appreciative to you and thank you very much. There's been so many blessings. I am still featured in the Coding Museum, which is such a high honor, and if you get a chance, they're open all year, go check it out. The other thing is a lot of you have been requesting a 2021 calendar. I was gonna skip it just because everything is going crazy with the you know what, <clears throat> but I don't want to because you really want it. Things might be a little weird this year, things might be a little slower, but I'm getting a head start, so that's important. There's going to be a 2021 calendar. Check out the description for that as well. Moving forward, you can definitely expect another video soon. We're revving up again. Now there's been so many blessings throughout this year, even despite all the crazy. And I really encourage you to not put too much time and effort into staying on top of the mainstream news because they're not telling you the truth. And I think everyone knows this by now. They've flip-flopped. They've called people conspiracists for what they asked to do, people to do. And a week or two later, they're telling people to do the same thing. Have informed preparation. That is the most important thing. And if something smells fishy, it's probably a fish and Go check it out, get a second opinion, just like a doctor, get a second opinion, maybe a third opinion, and with the media, maybe like six other opinions, <laughs> and not from the mainstream media. Do your own hard research if there's something you're worried about, and use your common sense and logic. The most important takeaways I want you to get from this conversation we're having, one, it's okay to slow down. I know it feels like you're getting behind and you're not gonna win that race, but the truth is that sometimes it takes slowing down and backing up to see that whole perspective. And then you've backed up for that running start and you can leap to your goal. Don't feel like if you don't speed through life, you're gonna miss out. There's so much to life and you're just not going to be able to experience it all. So choose what really matters to you and don't waste time on the rest. Just like this cephalopod fossil, the greatest things often take a lot longer than we think they're going to take, but in the end, they're absolutely beautiful. I hope that you and your family are happy and healthy. And if you're not, then I hope that you have a quick recovery and find the balance that you need in your life. Aim true and we'll see you next time.